because we're dealing with a lot of geometric shapes, I'm, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to be using my straight edge to draw all my lines from my buildings, okay? okay. Now, keep in mind some of the tips I gave you guys uh, last time for, uh, for these landscape contour drawings. Uh, you want to um, have your, your layers interact with each other as much as possible. You remember that? Yes. Like for example, this one, I, the cityscape that I did. Okay. See the, the ground layer? has a basketball hoop that goes way up into the sky. Now we got Michael Jordan dunking right there. And he's going up past the middle ground, the background into the sky. In the middle ground, I just have some buildings. In the background, I have these giant buildings that you probably recognize, the Batexico and the Landmark, okay? So that's what we're gonna try to do today, all right? Um, I'm gonna turn my screen now so that you can see my paper and watch me work. Okay. Can everybody see the paper? Yeah. All right, great. Okay. So I'm going to start by uh, drawing, let's have a uh, motorbike driver. Okay. I'll, I'm just going to freehand. I'll start by... Uh, the ground doesn't need to be per perfectly straight. So we'll start over here. And then I'll draw his back tire. It's okay. I'll hold it up like this and show you every once in a while, okay? And then... The driver sitting on the seat. Um, I'll draw the front end over here. And then there's some, some space between his hands and the, uh, shoot, I'm messing this up a little bit. Okay. So I got my outline of my motorbike driver. Can you see that? Yes. All right. Now see how I left the negative space between his hands and the bike and his knees and between the two wheels as well? All right, you could tell he's wearing a helmet too because I left the brim of his hat on there. Can't really tell what kind of motorbike it is though. All right, over here, I'm just gonna draw a lamp post, but I'm gonna use uh, my straight edge. The ground doesn't have to be perfectly flat because sometimes the ground isn't flat. But things that are geometric like lampposts and buildings will be. Okay? So I'm going to start by drawing the two sides of the lamppost as parallel as I can get them. Just eyeballing it like this. Okay? All right. From the top of this, uh, I'm just going to draw, uh, let's see, how should I do this? Um, let's make it a little bit fancy. Uh, um, actually, no, I'm just going to draw... a street light like this. All 
Okay. And then the light's gonna be coming down like that. Okay, nice and simple. Doesn't need to be too super fancy. All right, so now I got my ground layer and I've got two objects on it. And I already know that this street light's gonna be going way up into the sky, okay? For my next layer, uh, I'm gonna add in some houses. All right, I'll use my straight edge. And these are all gonna be mostly uh, horizontal and vertical lines. Mostly, I'll throw in some other stuff just to keep it a little bit interesting. But these are basically the houses that you would see uh, behind the road that the guy's driving on. Any questions so far? No questions, good. Good. That's either good or bad. I've either I've either lost you completely or uh, everybody's on task. So they're all random, random heights and widths. I think uh, this one, this next rooftop, I'm going to give. Uh, it's going to have a pointy rooftop just to change it up a little bit. Now I'm doing this pretty quick. I imagine you guys want to take your time, make it look nice and neat. I'm about halfway done now, so I'll show you where I'm at. Everybody see that? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's finish this up. Let's. So this is the contour line of the uh, the middle layer, the buildings um, right behind the motorbike driver. This building's gonna be a little bit interesting. It's gonna have steps coming up like this. Oops. There we go. Almost done. Is everybody drawing their cityscape along with me? Okay. Maybe. So now I have... I'm thinking of an idea. Okay. So now I have my cityscape ground layer and middle ground layer. Okay. Now finally, I'm going to add in the background layer. Okay. Now I could add some mountains in the back if I want. But this is going to be Saigon, so I'm going to add in a couple big buildings. Uh, there's a big building, I think, that looks like this, isn't there? Where it has, like, steps on the top. Where? I see it, like, on the north edge of D1, kind of close to... Uh, Kind of close to the zoo, maybe? Isn't there a building that looks like this that has steps on it? Like that? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Alright, this isn't, this isn't going to be perfect, but right here I'm going to add the... Uh, um landmark building I'm try my best to do it from memory it's kind of staggered like this does the landmark building look like this Oh, 
Almost done. Is that what the landmark looks like? Oh, yeah. Cool. Landmark one. Yeah. Got it. All right, and the only building on here that has organic curves, does anybody know? But Texaco, yes, exactly. I'll draw that over here. Maybe one of the most famous buildings in all of Southeast Asia. All right, so I got the Batexico over here, okay? All right, so uh, the biggest buildings in the city I have way back in the background, okay? And can you see proportionally that the motorbike driver is about the same size as the Batexico, right? Yeah. But in reality, the motorbike driver is way smaller than the Batexico, but the Batexico is drawn in the background and it's, and it's gonna be smaller in proportion, okay? So please don't draw like trees the same size as the Batexico and please don't draw like little houses uh, the same size as giant buildings. Okay, make sure everything makes sense proportionally. Okay. Yeah. Any questions about that? Nope. Excellent. Okay. So uh, just to uh, help myself uh, remember and map things out, I'm going to put tiny little ones in everything in the ground layer, I'm sorry, the, the foreground. In the middle ground, I'm gonna put tiny little twos, just to help myself remember. And the background layer, I'll put little threes, like this. Just so I know which layer everything belongs to. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. If you have any questions, you can message me.